Hi there guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing some basic editing on this lovely image I took while I was a few months in Sydney, Australia. I'll be editing it in Adobe Camera Raw and then going over to Photoshop for some final editing. Well, let's get into it. First, I'll be changing the profile to Adobe Landscape. As you can see, we already have some colors in the greens. And next, I'll be reducing the highlights and slowly start increasing the shadows all the way up reduce it a bit more I'm gonna increase the whites I'm gonna press the alt key on the windows and make sure I don't have any clippings I'm gonna do the same on the blacks press the alt on the windows and increase the contrast ever so slightly I'll reduce a bit of the exposure next I'll go down to the calibration and raise the blues if you go all the way to the top you can see the difference but we don't want to go too much I usually go around 40, between 40 and 50. I'll put it around to 45. And then we'll go up to the detail. I'm going to increase ever so slightly the sharpening. I usually reduce the radius all the way down and increase the detail at around 80, 85. Now if you hold down the ALT key and press the mask, mask in, you'll only be sharpening on the whites where it's showing you white I'll go all the way up to 70 75 I'm going to decrease the sharpening ever so slightly and then I'm going to go over to the color I'm gonna increase the vibrance just a bit and a bit of saturation next I'll go over to the color mixture on the saturation going to increase slightly the orange and the yellows let me push it all the way up and see the difference uh, it's too much reduce it at around five and then I'm gonna reduce I'll increase the greens now I'll be heading over to the masking 
and I'll be applying a linear gradient. I'll just be covering the left top hand corner and reduce the exposure just a touch I'll apply another linear gradient to the foreground reduce the exposure my intention is to make the waterfall the main attraction and now I'm gonna go over and create another mask I'll be using a radial gradient and I'll cover the center the waterfall But this time I'm going to increase the exposure around 20 plus 20 and I'm also going to give it a little texture. around 50, no, 40, around 40, increase a bit clarity, just a touch, around 7, and that, that should do it. Now I'm going to apply another radio gradient. And I'm going to apply a vignette. I'm going to cover the middle section where the waterfall is. But now I'm going to invert the mask, which is now covering the outer side of the frame. Where well, now I will reduce the exposure which makes the image in the middle pop out much more enough with the masks as you can see I've clipped the blacks just a little bit I'm going to increase the slider and that should be okay. Now I'm going to open the file in uh, Photoshop waiting till it opens And I have a, a plugin, this Nick Collection. I'll open it up and use Color Effects Pro 4. I have an update available which I won't be using for now. Just installing the image. And now
over on the left side, I'm going to use the Pro Contrast, which was already open and I closed. And just slightly increase the dynamic contrast. I'll give it a little bit of contrast. Uh, it's not working out. And I'll go back over to Photoshop. My computer is a bit slow, so it's going to take a, a few seconds to load. Alright, saving the image. Okay. Now I'm going to head over to the spot healing brush, increase the brush, and I'm going to remove this bunch of bundle of sticks or whatever leaves in the middle. It's causing a distraction. Okay, it's perfect. Now I'm going to remove this branch here, which is another destruction. Okay, and this bunch of sticks here as well. And here we can see this blue thing, I don't know what it is. Piece of paper or something. Okay. And that seems cleared up. Just check it a bit. Now I'm going to head over. I have another plugin. It's Topaz Denoise AI. After wait a bit, like I said before, my computer's getting really slow. And now you, I can check. And I apply to remove any noise that's in the image. Now I'm gonna remove this bunch of weeds or whatever, and I think I missed it earlier. Seems a bunch of twigs. Okay, I think I'll remove this as well. And this small thing here. Okay, now that should do it. Now I'm gonna go back to camera raw filter. Should open up. Okay, and I'm going to reduce the image size a bit. And I think I'll give it another vignette. To make the middle 
show even more. I'm going to invert it again, like before. Increase a bit the size of the vignette. And reduce the exposure once again. And that's it. Go back to the settings. And that's the final image. As I mentioned and in the beginning of the video that this is just a basic editing. There is so much more to learn. I will be doing more editing in the advanced mode. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And here are the before and after images. Well, thanks again for watching my channel and I hope to see you soon in a future video. See you later. Thanks a lot.